In this video we're going to have a look at using single node brushing mode with the Cleveland Heart Disease data set to look at how the variables in that data set are correlated. In particular we're going to focus on NUM which is the disease diagnosis state and see how that variable is correlated with the other variables in the system. So I'm going to click on NUM to give it the focus and then I'm going to change the range selector bar so that we are just looking at one bin in the histogram at a time. So to remind you, uh, num0, this first bin, represents a healthy state and all the other bins here, 1, 2, 3 and 4, represent various kinds of disease states. So as with uh, any data set in Omnigram Explorer, we get this brushing effect in single node brushing mode where we've selected uh, a range of values in our focus node and the distribution of where all of these samples in this selected bin lie in all the other variables is now shown in blue. So if I drag the range selector bar to move on to a different bin here we see how um, the reflecting change of distributions happens in the other variables. And if I move this to the right again, we see how all of these different uh, samples, different uh, disease state uh, values are distributed in the other variables. Now, the real power of brushing is when you interactively drag a bar to the right and then to the left, and you see how um, a smooth change in the selection of your focus node um, corresponds to changes in all the other nodes. So for example, if we look at old peak, this, um, this node here, whilst I move num from left to right, we can see that there is quite a, um, a steady change from left to right of that variable too. In particular, uh, in this example, since some of these bins to the right hand side of the histogram in Old Peak are quite small, it's also useful to look at the dot here in the range selector of this node. Uh, the dot is the indicates where the median value of the selected blue uh, samples are. And so if we look at how that dot changes when I move the num selector from left to right, we can see that that fairly steadily moves uh, to the right and then move it back to the left, right and left. So it appears that NUM and Old Peak are um, fairly highly correlated to each other. If we look at another node, for example Thalatch here, we can see actually that's moving in a different direction. There's a slight little kink at the end there, but um, generally that appears to be fairly strongly negatively correlated with NUM. Um, again, if we look at one of these other ones with uh, maybe just two bins, let's look at X Ang here um, and move that. Let's move, drag this. Um, then, okay, there does appear to be some reasonable correlation there. Again, it's uh, all these ones when we get to the uh, very highest been here there seems to be some uh, decreased correlation but generally again looking at the median dot um, which is perhaps easier to see in a case where there's just two bins we can see that that is uh, moving quite steadily to the right as we drag the um, range selector bar and num to the right so xang and num seem to be fairly highly correlated as well so in this way using um, selecting a small range of values in a focus node and dragging the range selector bar to the left and right is a very effective way to very easily get some idea of correlations between variables um, in the system and it's the kind of thing that the human visual system picks out fairly quickly so without any calculations of correlation coefficients or anything like that we're very quickly able to get some idea of how all these variables are correlated.